Okay, welcome to part two of what it takes to make tonight's 60 second beer review. This is, uh, we're going in the land of the pumpkin beers. Last night we did the Kentucky pumpkin barrel beer. I gave it about an 8.2, definitely not one of my favorites. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. I've signed myself up for this. It's th a week away from Thanksgiving. But I am interesting to, interested in, to compare and contrast different varieties. So that was one, 8.2. Tonight, we're going to Dogfish Head. Dogfish Head is arguably one of the best breweries in America. I'd uh, reserve that for a select few. I'd add Rogue Brewery on the West Coast. So you're going from Delaware to Oregon between uh, Dogfish Head and Rogue. And there's many in between. I think Toppling Goliath is a real good one. Three Floyds is a real good one. Uh, Founders in Michigan, phenomenal. Bell's another phenomenal one. We're talking breweries in general. Right off the bat though, let's let's skip the brewery talk. Point out my, uh, my Woody Meadows Bats uh, bottle opener here, which I absolutely love. Thank you, Kyle. But when I poured the Kentucky bourbon barrel yesterday, you would see uh, a darker color um, in general and very little uh, carbonation coming through from the Mosier pour right off the bat. Uh, now I've got pretty much uh, almost the whole bottle in there. Uh, definitely a taller head. I don't know that if that's indicating one thing or another. So the aromas are very similar. I don't know if it's my glass or just the fact that they're so subtle. Like yesterday, I couldn't smell anything of pumpkin in this, in, in yesterday's review. Um, today's very similar, but boy, when I drank this one at 10% being the Kentucky uh, pumpkin barrel, um, the flavor was very pronounced. Like there was no mistake you were drinking a pumpkin spiced beer. I, I'd never order it again. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad beer, it's just not a style that I enjoy on my own. Like, I, I, there's so many other good beers, why would I indulge something that I don't care for? Um, but again, to the point of tonight's video is to compare and contrast Dogfish Head compared to, I want to say this brewery is Altex Lexington Brewery and Distillery or something. It's probably on here, brewed and packaged by... Lexington Brewing Company, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, pumpkin Ale aged in oak bourbon bale, barrels. So this one was uh, con was really a pumpkin bourbon barrel. It's so many words just to describe beer, like my goodness. But now I got Dogfish Head and I'm very excited for this one. Got a really cool graphic there. Looks like he's in need of some optometry and some orthodontal care. Um, but that is one wicked jack-o'-lantern, the Dogfish Pumpkin Ale. So there's a punk if you've ever seen one, punk in ale. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, check this. This is a brown ale right up the bat with pumpkin and spices. So it'll be a fun one for sure. Um, and we'll get into more of the details here shortly. This one's definitely side stage. This one's the front stage. Got the... Uh, Viking horn and the mug. And I think we got an adequate settling of the Mosier pour head. Again, I'm not picking up anything. It's, it smells like a lager, which yesterday's beer smelled like a lager. So we'll get right into the details here real quick. So it's Mike Burr's Beer Home Review, 60 second uncooked beer review. Battle of the Pumpkin Beers continues. Yesterday we did this one. Today we're going to Delaware. Right to Dogfish Head. Uh, yeah, Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale. We're going right to Delaware with the Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale and see how it compares to the Kentucky bourbon, the Kentucky Pumpkin Ale that we had last night. As we say, cheers, salute. Beautiful color, nice head on there. Cheers, salute, and prost. A much more subtle flavor than yesterday's, uh, than, than the Kentucky variety. The Dogfish Head, 
This is much easier to drink to me. Um, this one was almost offsetting because you could taste the uh, powerful alcohol in it. 10%, this one's 7% ABV. But I'm not getting a lot of, a lot of overpowering flavor. Um, it, the thing that's pulling in the pumpkin is probably my awareness that it's supposed to be a pumpkin beer. I'm not getting like any specific spice. Maybe it's me, but these are both okay. If I, if I were to rank one over the other, I'd probably give the nod to Dogfish Head. But again, it's not a style I prefer. I'd probably rate it about three one hundredths better than last night's review. That's where that one stands. But I will finish this. I will enjoy it. Happy Thanksgiving. It's right around the corner, everybody. Yeah, just kind of unremarkable in general, but it's drinkable.